Now, your KRBC Storm Team forecast with meteorologist Grant Tosteru. Well, we are starting out your February and Friday morning. Very mild and very humid here in Abilene. That cloud cover has moved in overnight again, and that's keeping our temperatures in the mid-50s here to get you out the door this morning. Again, I mentioned that humidity is here, and so are the winds, too. They'll still be a little bit breezy as we head into this afternoon. But looking back on January, we actually ended about a little bit of a degree above average for last month, and that was mostly thanks to these overnight lows. These were the one that really stayed above that average number. I close to three degrees. But overall, our highs were pretty close to average for January. The warmest we got was 78 degrees back in the middle of the month. And then towards the end of January, we saw the coldest temperatures 24 degrees twice. And that actually ties for the coldest temperature we've seen so far this winter season as January has remained pretty mild. And overall, our winter has remained pretty mild as well as now February will be the last month in terms of meteorologically speaking of winter. So we, we did see about eight or 86 hundredths of an inch of rainfall here in Abilene. That was just shy of about the inch we typically see in the month of January. Now our warm weather is going to continue here as we head through this first week of February, getting into the mid and upper 60s today, close to 70 degrees for some of us. Saturday, close to 70 again. Sunday, Monday and into Tuesday, that's going to be the warmest days we'll be seeing out there as highs could approach 80 degrees for some of us as we head into next week. However, this warm up, this spring like weather may not be lasting for too much longer as we are watching another cold front that will be moving in late next week, and that's going to bring in some cooler than average temperatures back to our area. The darker shades of blue here, that higher confidence of some cooler weather. So we'll be looking at some more colder temperatures moving in as we head towards the end of next week and heading into that second full week of February. This morning, though, that cloud cover has moved in out there, and we're going to hang on to that cloud cover into this afternoon longer than what we saw yesterday. Most of that should start to move out of here as we head towards the evening hours, eventually giving way to mostly sunny skies. We head towards that five o'clock hour today. Overnight, we'll see that humidity increase once again, along with that low level cloud cover. And as we head into early Saturday morning, we could see that chance for a few isolated showers out there across the big country, maybe even a clap of thunder. And some of those showers could last until the morning hours on Saturday until about the mid morning, early afternoon as well. So today again, feeling more and more like spring as we make it into the upper 60s out there, mostly sunny skies by later this evening. Overnight, those temperatures remain very mild, falling into the mid 50s across the big country with that chance for a couple isolated showers, mainly in the southern big country. We'll continue to see those warmer temperatures into this weekend, becoming breezy on Sunday as that really warm air starts to move in with close to 80 degrees on Monday as well, staying in the 70s Tuesday into Wednesday with a chance for rain as that next cold front moves in Wednesday night.